that in there. Ha! Awesome. Security cameras up. Perfect. All right, let's check this app and see how that works. There we go. Make sure it's set up. I think we hit play. We can check the room. There we are. It works. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, I think it has night vision. Let's try it. All right. Alexa, turn off the living room lamp. That is cool. All right, well, off to bed. Whew, man, I'm tired. Goodness. Turn off the bedroom lamp. <sighs> oh, whoa. What the? Oh, what the hell was that? I need to check these cameras. Check the camera, check the camera. Hello? 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 What the heck? Yo, okay, Pace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to have a conversation about something that I've been seeing discuss quite a while. And it's weird because it's something that's been around for a long time. And Dolby Atmos is the topic. Two Dolby Atmos speakers or four? Which one sounds better? Which one should you go for in your system? And the reason why I say it's weird is because it's not a new thing. Dolby Atmos has been around for, what, 10 years now or so? And we're really still kind of wondering what's the best way to set it up. So I'm going to give my input on it and you guys definitely down below in the comment section, give me your input on it. Also, if you don't have Dolby Atmos set up, leave me a comment. Tell me why you've either chose not to or think that you can't. Tell me that down below in the comment section. So what I'm running right now in my home theater is a 5.3.4 system. And if you're not sure what those numbers means, the first five is the five bed layer speakers, your center, front, left, and right, and then your side surrounds. That's two side surrounds. The point three, so 5.3, the three is the subwoofers. I have three different subwoofers in my home theater. And then the point four after the three, the 5.3.4, there are four Dolby Atmos speakers above my head. So I'm running a 5.3.4 and soon I'll be upgrading to a 7.3.4. So we wanna worry about the last point four, the Dolby Atmos. Why have I chosen to go with four instead of two? Or why have I chosen to go with Dolby Atmos at all? Let's talk about that really quickly. So the point of a home theater is just to envelop you in this large dome of sound. So when you're watching movies and other content, you feel like you're in there. Dolby Atmos helps with that because it now elevates that sound, literally elevates it so that it sounds like what's supposed to be over your head is above your head. I have a kind of a weird system, a hybrid system, if you will. And the reason why I say that is because, like I said, I'm running four Dolby Atmos speakers, but two of them are on wall, like you guys can see behind me, and then the other two are in ceiling. And the reason why I had to go with this route is because of the lack of space that I have in this small living room. There is no space behind my couch. If you pay attention to how to set up a Dolby Atmos system, if you're going for the in ceiling or hanging from the ceiling type of method, you want your rear Atmos speakers to be 
behind you so that it gives you that dome effect when things fly. Or I can't really do that in my home theater because I don't have any space whatsoever behind the couch. Now I may be able to pull my couch up to help with that, but then I'm so close or in the middle of my living room that it absolutely makes no sense, right? And then I have these in front of me because it looks so weird hanging in the middle of the ceiling. Now I, I can hang these in the ceiling and get them pretty accurately where they're supposed to be, but aesthetically it makes no sense because I have a ceiling fan and other things that are just in the way. So my room's just weird. And that kind of leads me to say this, the whatever, which, however your layout is, will decide for you which one's better, four or two speakers. How much space you have in your room will decide for you which one's better, four or two. In my room, four sounds good. Two's not good enough. Two over here on the wall, not good enough. It's kind of hard to hear these so far away from where they should be placed, which is just slightly in front of the couch above me. These are high above the wall, but they're too far away to give me the true Atmos effect. The ones in the rear aren't bad at all, but they could use a little scoot backwards and really give me that dome-like effect that I'm looking for. So. Depending on your layout and the size of your room will quickly tell you if you're able to run two or four. That's really what it comes down to for me. All right, so let's take all of the problems out of the picture. Let's say room size is not a problem, money is not a problem. You can set up a full Dolby Atmos, but you're wondering, should you go two or four? And if you should go two, what two should you go for? All right, let's answer that right now. I think if you have the space, the ceiling, and the proper uh, insulation gear, you can put them where they're supposed to go. Four, 100%. Four is absolutely better because if you don't have all four, your sound just kind of stops. So if you have two in the front, it gets to here and then it just all of a sudden goes back to your bed layer. It just goes back to surround sound. So it starts up here, just falls off because there's nothing back here to continue that sound. Same thing on the reverse side. If you have two rears going from back to front, it just starts like this and this drops off because there's no continuation of sound. So four is always the better way to go if you can properly place all four. You don't really want to kind of mix it up unless you have to. And like I said, <laughs> I have to and it works okay. But four is 100% the way to go. Just keep that huge dome of sound moving. You want this, this continuous path from front to back, both in the bed layer and above your head. So there's no gaps in the sound. So when you run only two Dolby Atmos speakers, you cause maybe not exactly a gap in the sound, but your sound starts from, you know, above you and just all of a sudden ends kind of ear level, which is not really where you want it. You want that atmospheric sound, hence the word Dolby Atmos. So that's my take on it. Now, if you can't run four, maybe it's not really size limitations, it's receiver limitations. Maybe you don't have enough channels to process all four Dolby Atmos speakers. What two should you pick? Me personally, I think you should pick the front ones. And here's, here's why. If you disagree, if you disagree with me, let me know down below in the comment section so I can hear your thoughts. I think that you should run the top two in the front if you have to choose. And the reason being is because most everything that happens in the movie is in front of you for the most part. Sometimes things fly from back to front and then you're like, whoa, what's that? But I think most of that happens in the front. Everything is usually forward and it comes this way most of the time. And your surround sound, there's a lot more surround in the back than there is in the front. You have three speakers in the front, your center, your front left and your front right. But in the rear, you can have side surrounds and back surrounds. So there's a lot of coverage already back there. There's not as many speakers in the front and one of them really just does dialogue, right? That's your center channel. So having two more speakers up front just helps that taller sound stage in the front. Plus, like I said, I think more sound happens from front to back than it does back to front. That's just my personal opinion. No, it's not a fact. I don't know this to be true, but just maybe the movies that I've watched and some of the songs that I've listened to, it seems like things start in the front and then make their way back, make their way backwards. So that's my opinion on it. If you have to run two, run your front two. And if you can run all four, run all four. Um, and if you can have them in the ceiling or hang them up kind of from like a beam or something, if you can't put them in the ceiling, if you can hang them from something above you, do that. If not, 
do the on walls like I'm doing in my home theater, do the on walls next as high as you can go. Those are the, the two options. But if you can run four, do four. If you have to do two, do the front two. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Please, if you haven't already, head down to the comment section and let me know what your opinion is on this kind of conversation. Should you just run two? Should you run four? And if you should just run two, which two do you think you should run? I want to know your kind of ideas in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're running in your setup and why you chose that. And again, if you're not running Atmos, why? Let me know that down below in the comment section because I'm very curious to know. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.